It was in 2005 when Microsoft launched its second home video game console, the Xbox 360. At the time, it was competing with PlayStation 3 and Wii. Although it wasn't the best-selling system of the seventh generation of video game consoles that belonged to the Wii, it is still nonetheless Microsoft's best-selling console and the sixth highest-selling video game console in history. Some of the classics and best-selling games for the Xbox 360 include Halo 3, Halo 4, Gears of War, and Gears of War 2. It wasn't until 2013 when Xenia, the first Xbox 360 emulator, was initially created. Progress has been steady and consistent throughout the years. In fact, it was in 2022 when Xenia saw a major and important breakthrough in its development. Suddenly, a lot of games became compatible and enjoyable in Xenia. As a result, many emulation fans rejoiced with this major breakthrough. Unfortunately, however, Batasera saw no major improvement with Xenia running in Batasera. At best, only a dozen games were running well, and we were forced to use an unofficial bill of Xenia and Batasera. Well, the great news today is that with the release of Batasera 36, Xenia is running so much better in Batasera. In fact, I was shocked by how many Xbox 360 games I got up and running successfully in Batasera. Therefore, I can finally say that Xenia is officially ready for prime time in Batasera. Finally, and we owe a big thanks to developer Daniel Martin for making this possible. Thank you so much, Daniel. Consequently, in this tutorial, I will show you how to set up Xenia and Batasera so you can play both Xbox 360 disc games and Xbox Live Arcade games in Batasera. Are you ready? Let's do it. Greetings everyone and welcome to Batasera Nation, the number one fan site and YouTube channel for Batasera. So delighted that you could join us. As mentioned, today we're going to dive into Xbox 360 emulation. During this past week, I've done some extensive testing on Xenia on six different PC systems, including two handheld units. Right now, your best bet is to run this on an AMD PC system, including handheld units. Intel will give you the next best result, but some of the games do show some graphical glitches that I didn't encounter on systems running on AMD. PCs running on NVIDIA was a hit and miss. Developer Daniel Martin reported he got it up and running on a NVIDIA system. However, I didn't have much success in my two NVIDIA test systems. Maybe it was because both of my NVIDIA test systems were using laptop graphics cards. In either case, I'm hoping I can troubleshoot with Daniel to get the NVIDIA bug figured out. But again, the best bet right now is to have Xenia running on the AMD PC. In fact, it runs quite well on the Steam Deck. In addition, as a bare minimal, I recommend a PC running on the AMD Ryzen 7 4800 APU. Moreover, for Intel, I recommend as a bare minimal an 11th generation CPU using Iris. Anything less than that, and you will have a weaker performance. Now then, let me give you an idea how much of an improvement has been made on Xenia since the last Xenia tutorial. Back in October 2022, I only had about a half a dozen games up and running. As of late April 2023, I tested Xenia on 110 games, both disc games and Xbox Live arcade games, running on AMD APUs. From those 110 games, I have 81 games up and running and playing really well. That 74% of my test games are running successfully in Xenia. Only 26% of the games are not running well or don't boot at all. Again, that's a huge and wonderful improvement. All right, that's enough of an intro. Let's get Xenia up and running. All right, so first thing is first. I will be posting links of all these pages in my video description, so check it out. All right, first thing I want to show you, of course, is the wiki page of Xbox 360 and Batacera right and i want to stress that these are the accepted formats for the games themselves these two here are for the disc games and this last one is for xbox live arcade games 
Notice there's been a change from my last tutorial. It used to be Xbox 360. Now it's Xbox 360. Otherwise, uh, it will not work, okay? The folder is the same, Xbox 360. And emulators, we got both of them actually up and running. Uh, in some cases, depending upon the bill that you're using on Batocetta, Xenia will work better. And in other cases, Xenia Canary will work better. So you might have to test that out. And I'll show you that in a little bit. There's no BIOS, so you're good to go there. In terms of the games, I can't tell where to find them. But if you've been watching Batocetta Nation long enough, you know where to find them. Again, Xenia will accept this images or ISOs. And of course, put it right there. And there's also digital titles or disk installation, okay? And I'm going to explain this a little bit later on. All right. Let's move on. Saves. This is where they're stored. User data. Saves. Xenia bottle. Xenia content. And, of course, the ID of the game itself. And that's basically it. Let's go over here. I do encourage you to read the FAQ for Xenia, okay? Let me highlight a couple of things. All right, so the first thing I want to highlight is this, the saves. Some games will not save successfully. In fact, you might get an error message saying storage device not found or not detected. Uh, and again, that's just the way it is. And some of the games will not work that in that manner. But not all of them. Some games will save successfully, okay? And the next thing I want to highlight is the Xbox Live games. Some games will load successfully in Xenia, but it does require you to connect to Xbox Live. And of course, that's just not going to work. And this makes it very clear they will never ever officially connect to Xbox Live servers. Maybe in the future, it says far future, they might create a custom server, okay, so it can play with these games. Again, even though it may successfully load up in Xenia, it's not going to connect to Xbox Live, so therefore you cannot play these games, all right? The next thing I want to show you is the quick start tutorial how to rip your games for Xbox 360, okay? Again, I will be posting a link in my video description. And I also want to show you this, that someone has compiled a list, a spreadsheet uh, of games that are compatible with Xenia using SteamOS. Now then, if a game is running on SteamOS, then 99% chance it also will run successfully in Batocera. So therefore, here's the spreadsheet, okay? You can get a, take a quick look. And there are many more games out there, in fact, that are compatible, okay? So you might have to test things out, but this will give you a good little indication. Again, I will be posting a link in my video description. And finally, there's also here the official Xenia game compatibility page right here, okay? It's not as organized as other emulators, but I also would give you an idea whether the game you want to play works in Xenia or not. So again, all these links will be posted in my video game description. So check it out. Now then, let's move on to the actual games themselves, okay? So I got here three test games including a disc game right here, ISO game right here, Skate 3, and I've got two Xbox Live arcade games right here. So the format, when you download these games, this is what you'll see. You see this file right here, okay? Same thing for the other one. You get some couple folders and a strange file right there. All right, so let's go ahead and format it so it can work successfully in Xenia. All right, let's go ahead and go to the first one right here. Let's go into the actual game itself. Let's go ahead and cut and paste it right here. And from there, go ahead and delete that. All right, and then go back to the folder itself. Right click on the folder, select rename. And from there, hit Control C for copy, all right? And from there, go ahead, back in there, right-click on the game, choose Rename, backspace it, Control-V to paste it, hit Enter. It doesn't have any extension, all right? And from there, right-click on Empty Space and select New, select a Document. It has to be Text Document. From there, backspace again, hit Control-V, the same title. And then for the extension, get rid of the TXT and type Xbox 360. Has to be in that format, otherwise it will not work. Hit enter. You get this uh, error message here. Yes, I do want to change it. All right. And then from there, go ahead and double click on it. And once again, hit control V. 
Again, it has to be the same exact title, otherwise it won't work. Uh, so that's why I use Control V. Keep everything in the same format. All right, and then save it. And that's it. Let's go through the other one, do the same thing. Get that cut and paste it in the main folder right here. Delete this. And then go back to the folder. Right click on the folder. Select rename. Control C. And go in there. Select the game. Rename. Backspace. Control V. Got the name right there. Hit enter. Right click on the empty space. New text document backspace control V and then from there the extension backspace Xbox 360 hit enter get this message yes click on the file itself and type control V that's it file save okay so that's how you format the Xbox Live arcade games all right uh, and then you'll get these up and running successfully. All right, let's go ahead and boot up uh, about to set a system. Uh, in fact, I'm going to be using a Steam Deck, and let's get these games up and running. All right. All right, so we got our Steam Deck up and running. Let me go ahead and prove to you. I'm running this on the Steam Deck. Let's go into the menu. Let's go into System Settings, Information. Scroll down here. And uh, right there, that's the Steam Deck, all right? Okay, so first thing is first, we need to go ahead and hit F1 on your keyboard. Now, if you have an old Xenia installation on your computer, then we're going to have to delete a certain file, otherwise it won't work. So let's go to Share. Let's go into System. Let's go into Configs. And let's go into Emulation Station. Uh, and there it is. This was the file again for the unofficial Xenia bill back in October 2022. If you got that file, go ahead and delete it because again, otherwise it won't work. So I'm going to delete it. Oh, and by the way, let's go ahead and delete this. By the way, if you want to delete files, go to edit, go to preferences. Make sure for general, make sure that this is unclicked. Move deleted files to trash can. Okay, just go ahead and unclick that. And this way it will delete your files successfully all right okay and from there of course let's go into our games folder there's the xbox 360 folder these are the games uh, all these games are up and running uh, rather successfully let me just show you a, a few of the games all right all right okay let's go ahead and close it and Press start in gamepad, go into game settings after you copy your games, go into update games list. All right, scroll down, and there it is, right next to the Xbox. Okay. I've got these games already scraped. Again, it's a sample of the games that are running successfully. All right, now let me go ahead and show you the bill I'm using. Right now, I can see that on the bottom that I'm using bill from April 13th. The latest bill, as you're watching this video, is from 27, April 27. I would encourage you to get the latest for Xenia to go ahead and go into updates and downloads and go into the beta version, okay? Again, this way you'll get the latest for Xenia, okay? All right, let's go ahead and press select on your gamepad. And let's go to advanced system options. Again, if you're running a beta version of Xenia, this is what you're going to see. If you're running the official Bata 36 version, you're not going to see all of this. You're only going to see emulator and I think video mode, and that's it. Okay. So for emulator, right now I got it selected to Xenia Canary. Depending upon the beta build of Bata that you're using, Xenia Canary work better, and in other cases, it will be Xenia. So you may have to experiment to see which one gives you the best result. 
Right now for our April 13 bill, this is actually the better one right here, Xenia Canary. But I think on the April 27 bill, I think Xenia by itself is the better one. But again, you have to test it out. All right. And video mode, I leave it on auto. Xbox Live Arcade. The fault is this right here. License enable. In fact, there's some YouTube videos out there that show you how to change this on the configuration file. Fortunately for us, we don't need to do this. It's already here and it's already enabled by default. Okay, so make sure it's usually this right here. License enable. Internal display resolution. You can actually bring it up if you got a powerful system. Default, of course, is 720p. And again, you got a really powerful system, you can bring it up. For the time being, I'm going to go ahead and leave it up to default. UI prompt. Sometimes the games will give you a question. And you're going to need a mouse for that. So you may want to choose uh, enable or disable. If you don't have a mouse handy with you, you might go ahead and choose disable. But if you're playing this in a PC system with a mouse, then go ahead, leave it as enabled. All right. All right. And then language, of course, the default is English, but you can change it as well. There's a number of languages there for you to choose. Okay. I'm going to leave it at English as default. Uh, and that's it. Let's go ahead and test out this Xbox Live arcade game. All right, you see that it works quite well. I just realized something. If you're using a handheld system and you're playing this on a TV monitor, there's one last thing you gotta do. Press start in gamepad, go into controller Bluetooth settings, uh, and then scroll down to play one controller, uh, and make sure you use the gamepad that you're using. Okay, in my case, it's this right here. Uh, otherwise, again, the controls won't work in a Xenia emulator. All right, let's go ahead and test out another Xbox Live arcade game. Let's try out this one right here. All right, again, you can see that works quite well. Now let's go ahead and try Skate 3. Now, unlike the RPCS3 emulator, this one, you don't have to mess around trying to configure to get it up and running. It just works, and it works quite well. All right, let's check it out.
You see there, it works really well. No problems. And I don't have to worry about trying to load up SPUs and PPUs, none of that. It just loads up quickly. I love it. So therefore, I believe that once Xenia becomes a mature emulator, it's going to give RPCS3 a run for its money. Another thing I also want to point out that in some of the games, uh, when you try to run it the first time, if for some reason it just doesn't work. So go ahead and give it a second shot because sometimes the second time around, it loads up and it runs quite well. Okay, I encountered that with a number of the games that I was testing. So again, if it doesn't work the first time, give it a second shot. Now then, before we wrap everything out, let me go ahead and show you one more disc-based game, Dante's Inferno. All right. It's right there. All right, let's check it out. No. No. Pretty awesome, huh? Pretty cool game. Well, that's a wrap. I hope you got a good taste of what's possible with Xenia I'm about to set up. Again, a major thanks to developer Daniel Martin for getting Xenia up to par in about to set up. In fact, I know I've been kind of pesky with Daniel, hoping he will upgrade and configure Xenia for about to set up. Needless to say, he's done a marvelous job, and we hope to troubleshoot the video systems. Now then, if you found this video useful, please go ahead and like it. That would really help me out with YouTube's algorithms. If this is your first time watching a video from Boston Saturday Nation, then I highly encourage you to check our YouTube channel, as well as our website at BostonStatterNation.com. That will give you a great overview of what Boston Center is all about, and whether this will meet your emulating needs. Finally, I want you to know I've got a lot more videos coming up, including more emulation and test reviews. So therefore, please consider subscribing so you'll stay on top of the latest and greatest of Boston Center. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time on Boston Saturday Nation. Bye.